Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ethan and I'm the choreo for LNYF Yo-Yo 2021. If you're interested in trying out for Yo-Yo, please fill out the link in the description and I'll deliver a cleaned Yo-Yo in a container to your residence and then you can borrow it for the rest of audition week and then I'll pick it up again at the end. Uh, Yo-Yo's audition is a little different than the others because instead of teaching a choreography that you learn and send a video in of, uh, this video is going to have a bunch of trick tutorials and you can learn one or two or as many as you want and then at the end of the week just send in a video of you doing anything you learned. Um, try to make the video just one take but it can be as long as you want and even if you drop a bunch or mess up a bunch I'm not going to penalize you for it, you know, just pick it up and try again. Uh, don't worry if you think you're bad. My choreo told me that I had one of the worst auditions in Yo-Yo's history and now I'm the choreo. Even if you learn just one trick, please, please, just send in a video anyways. Thanks. This video will start by teaching the fundamentals of how to start a yo-yo and how to control it. Make sure to watch these parts. Next, I'll teach a bunch of different tricks. They're listed in the order that people normally learn them, but if you can't get one or are really interested in a different one, feel free to jump around and learn out of order. At the end, there's going to be two harder tricks that you can try to learn if you're really feeling good about your progress, but don't feel bad at all if you don't get to these. Every trick in this tutorial is mirrored for your convenience, so keep that in mind when watching. Watch the tutorial, try it yourself, and if you mess up, just rewatch the video or slow it down with the YouTube speed controller and try again. If you ever need any help, you can feel free to message the YoYo -Yo Instagram. Message me on Facebook, Instagram, or email, and I'll also be holding additional help sessions over Zoom throughout the week. Feel free to drop by or send any message you want if you want some help or just want to chat. Don't feel bad if there's any trick you really can't get down. Just take a break, try again later. Most importantly, have fun. The first thing we're going to have to learn is how to start a yo-yo. First, place the yo-yo in your strings like this. Before we continue, one important thing to note is that the yo-yo will only spin in one direction. On your yo-yo, you'll find a black ring on one cup and a colored ring on the other, probably red or blue. Make sure the black ring is on the cup closer to you or it will not spin. Next, place the yo-yo on the ground in front of you and to the right, and roll the yo-yo across the ground to the left. Once it's on the left side of your body, pick up the yo-yo and it should be spinning. Try to roll the yo-yo a decent distance on the ground before you lift it up or it won't have enough spin to keep going. Next, we're going to need a way to keep the yo-yo spinning. Move your sticks up and down like you're drumming to simulate the yo-yo traveling across the string so it spins and builds up speed. Try to make these movements using your wrists instead of your arms. This will create longer and straighter motions that will help make your yo-yo go faster and stay more stable. One thing you may notice as you yo-yo is your yo-yo tilting to the left, right, forwards, or backwards. This happens when the strings aren't perfectly parallel with each other, so the friction causes the cups to become unbalanced and tilt. There are more advanced ways to control the tilt of the yo-yo using your sticks. Pressing the back cup will cause it to go to the left and the front cup to the right. But for now, we're simply going to follow the yo-yo when it tilts left or right. If your yo-yo tilts to the left, imagine your yo-yo is a flashlight sending light out of it. You always want your body to be blocking the light and parallel with the yo-yo. Follow the cup as it tilts. If it tilts to the right, do the same for the opposite side and move your body to the right. The other way your yo-yo may tilt is forwards. If this happens, imagine your right hand is a control stick and pull it backwards. The yo-yo will straighten itself out. No need to rush when doing this. Just be patient and it will eventually become untilted. 
If your yo-yo tilts backwards, then do the opposite and push your right stick forwards. Continue to follow the yo-yo to the left or right if it tilts those directions while you do this. The right hand loop is a very important fundamental as it's one of the most common starts to tricks. What you want to do is move your right hand in a circle around your yo-yo to the left in a counterclockwise direction. To undo it, simply go around the other way, right and clockwise. One trick to help make this easier is to move your left hand upwards when you make the loop or the unloop. If the yo-yo is higher up, then you don't have to reach your right hand super far down to get around the yo-yo in a circle. The throw and start is a faster way to start your yo-yo so you don't have to roll start it every single time. To do it, hold your two sticks in your left hand making a V shape and in your right hand hold the yo-yo like this with your middle finger wrapped around the axle of the yo-yo. Then throw it in so it rolls off your finger and aim for the left string of your yo-yo. Once you've thrown it in, you can begin drumstick accelerating. Generally, a harder throw will result in a more stable yo-yo. Japanese acceleration is a very fast way to build up speed for your yo-yo. In general, the faster your yo-yo is, the easier it is to perform tricks. Start by looping your yo-yo and then flick it back and forth in a straight line parallel to the ground in front of your body. When you feel a tug like it is hitting a wall and cannot go any further to one side, it means the yo-yo has gone as far as it can and you can send it back to the other way. Once you've sent it back and it's reached the other side and you feel this tug again on that wall, then that means you can send it back once more. This should be a very rhythmic motion to go back and forth. When you're finished, simply unloop your yo-yo. Try to use your wrists more than your arms when performing this motion because it makes it easier to keep it straight. Start with the yo-yo unlooped and then stretch your strings out as far as they can go so it's very rigid and taut. While you do this, lightly toss the yo-yo upwards. When it falls back down, catch it on the string once more. To make catching the yo-yo easier, keep your strings taut the entire duration even when you're just catching the yo-yo. It's much easier to catch a yo-yo on a taut string rather than a floppy one. Also, aim to catch the yo-yo closer to your right stick. It's much easier to catch a yo-yo if you aim with your right hand instead of trying to catch it in the middle of your string. Start with your yo-yo unlooped and then toss it under and around your right stick and then catch it once more on the string when it comes back around. To undo it, simply throw it back around the way it came. This is what your yo-yo should look like when you do this correctly. If you need a little momentum before you do this trick, you can swing it slightly to the left before going to the right. When you throw your yo-yo around, you want to make sure to push your right stick into your string like this. Make sure to catch it on this string when it comes around. The most common mistake is to miss this string and have the yo-yo just be hanging in the air. If you do happen to miss it, just throw it back around the way you came and try again. If you want to learn this trick, make sure to learn trapeze first. 
So if you happen to skip that one, go back and learn trapeze before you continue on to this. Start by performing a trapeze with your right stick, and then find the hole formed by the string under your right stick here. Stick your left stick into this hole and then pull the string to the left. Your next goal will be to throw the yo-yo up and point your stick straight up so you can catch the yo-yo on this string here. The biggest problem you're going to run into while doing this is this string, because it blocks the yo-yo when you try to toss it up. So make sure to toss the yo-yo up in a way where you can avoid it. Here, you can see, when I'm about to do the toss, my sticks are slightly angled, and then I toss it up very gently to avoid this string. Then I point my stick straight up so that I can catch the yo-yo on top. When you're done, just point your stick straight down and everything will slide off. Start with the yo-yo unlooped and spin 360 degrees and bring your yo-yo over your head as you do it. Here I spin to the right, so I bring my yo-yo towards the right with me as well as it goes over my head. If you're having trouble getting enough momentum to bring the yo-yo all the way around, swing the yo-yo a little bit to the opposite direction of your spin first, and then when you go for the trick you'll have some momentum for it. Another problem you may run into is when you spin, your arms will naturally want to be in front of you, which would cause the yo-yo to be way out of the original plane and it would tilt out of control. Try to keep your arms behind your head so that when you face backwards, the yo-yo still stays stable. Start with the yo-yo unlooped and then Push your right stick down to touch the axle of your yo-yo while pulling your left stick up. Then, once you're here, swing your right hand up and move your left hand down while pulling on the left stick to keep the string taut, until your yo-yo is above you and to the right. Don't push too hard onto the axle when you're doing this with your right stick because it will cause the yo-yo to tilt. Just barely touch it. Once the yo-yo has moved to above you, simply let it lie on the stick with its own weight. No need to push on it. Start with the yo-yo unlooped and then turn your body to face your right side. Move your hand in a figure eight motion to swing the yo-yo in circles, first around your left side and then around your right side. When you're finished, simply stop the yo-yo once it's on the original side and let it fall back to the starting position. Like other tricks, you can swing your yo-yo a little to the opposite side first to create momentum before you do the trick. Here, you can see the kind of figure eight like motion my hands move in in order to perform this trick. Also note that while it looks like the yo-yo is being moved between the sides of my body, my body is actually the thing that is moving to alternating sides of the yo-yo. This is to keep the yo-yo in the same plane so it doesn't tilt too much during the trick. Start with a right hand loop on your yo-yo and then unloop it. After this, let the yo-yo continue swinging around your left stick and let go of the right stick as it goes around. Recatch it when it comes all the way around. The undoing of the right hand loop is to create momentum for the throw. Then, when it reaches the point where the left string and the yo-yo are at about 9 o'clock, release the right stick. One tip to make the catch easier is to aim for the string instead of the stick. It's a much larger target, and then you can slide your hand up the string onto the stick.
Start with the yo-yo unlooped and place both sticks in your right hand in a V shape. Hold the left string with your left hand here, and then toss the yo-yo up through this hole. Once you toss it up, pull the strings on to the left like this and catch the yo-yo on top of both of the strings. Turn your body to face the left and then toss the yo-yo up once again. Once it's in the air, swing your right hand and your sticks down to catch the yo-yo. This is what the setup should look like from your point of view. You can see that when I swing down to catch the yo-yo, I move my sticks up high first before going down so that the strings have momentum and are straight when they're coming down onto the yo-yo. This makes it much more consistent to aim. Aim one of the sticks towards the middle axle of the yo-yo, and then one of them towards the outside of the yo-yo's cup. Start with the yo-yo unlooped and then place your arms in a 90 degree angle like this. Your right stick should have the string go around your arm and pivot on it like this. Swing the yo-yo so that it rides up your left towards your left stick and then push it over to catch it on the string in this hole between your right stick and your arm. Try to keep the string taut while you're catching it, but then once you've caught the yo-yo, you can loosen it so that it can return easily to the original position that it started in. Once you're finished, you can simply bring your sticks down to the starting position. Start with your yo-yo unlooped and then step over the yo-yo between your strings with your le right leg like this. You can lunge further if you keep hitting your leg with the yo-yo. You can see that I stand on the tip of my toes to create a larger hole for it. Next, have the yo-yo ride up your string towards your left stick, and when it's high enough, push it over towards the string on the right side. Try to do more of a very gentle push than an actual toss. It's easier to control this and aim it if you do this. And you don't need a super powerful or high toss to get the yo-yo over your leg. As always, you can throw the yo-yo a little to the opposite direction, of the trick in order to build momentum to ride it up the string. Once you're done, simply step back over the yo-yo with your right leg back to where you started. 